it is, man. I'm here with the world famous Von Zip, you know, Lil Zip, you know. I mean, Pops is official legend in Harlem. I'm down here with all the Harlems in South Beach, all their children. I mean, it, it's amazing because I learned something yesterday when I was talking to the um, to the big little homie, because he's a big homie, you know what I mean? To, to his generation, I'm his big homie. But you know, we all family. But I found out yesterday that his beautiful wife is one of my best friend's daughters. Come around here, come over here, come over here next to your man. You know, that, that that's that's Rudy's daughter, man. Big shout out to Rudy and uh, uh, Randy and Rudy over there, 132nd. I used to scream them out all the time um, at, at Club 2000 on the mic, on my mixtapes, all that. They was legendary figures that you had to have them on your tape. You know what I mean? Cause they did their thing, man. They were there for back in the early 80s, all the way up, did their thing, and you know now they're doing good things, positive things, like we trying to push the world doing positive things. But you know, tell them about your father and how you know that situation go. About your well, um, my dad right now is currently a college professor at North Carolina A&T, and you know that's pretty much what he does now compared to what he did back then. And that's the point that I wanted to make. That he turned his life completely around. He was one of the first ones to leave the hood on his own, to walk away from everything, give up the block that was making thousands, and walk away from it to go into a civilian life. You know what I mean? And pleasure to see old Harlem still getting together. Yeah, see, this we, is royalty. That's what we do, man. This is you regular know? shit, though. But this yeah. is what we do. You know, we come down, have fun. Mm -hmm. you, you know? know? Enjoy ourselves, you know? And, and that's what it is, yeah. you know? I'm just enjoying the money, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, you I'm, know? <laughs> I'm enjoying my money. That's mm -hmm. what you gotta do sometimes. You just gotta enjoy yourself, man. Mm -hmm. You can't always make money or, you know, and just be like screwed for duck, you just mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mad at yourself, mad at the world. No, you gotta have fun. You know what I mean? This, this is all I'm doing. Let me ask you this on the top of the head to change the whole group to the, 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 the dynamics of this, right? What do you miss most about your father right now? To say what comes to your mind? Him, just being with him, just being with him. and Being with him is like being in the movie. When I was young, I thought I was always in the movie. Everything was just so different, you know what I mean? We had the flyers called. Flies cars that we talking about back when you know everybody got cars now. Everybody got fly, even they rented them, buying it. Everybody got them, but he had them back in the day. So I just remember just being yeah, with him, a bunch of cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I remember being with him and just going places and hopping out, and everybody you know knew him. Or even if they did know, we used to ride through the streets and people used to point, point. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the world was different back in the late '90s and the '80s, and the early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't see both voices back back then. Yeah. Now look, it's one just rolled by just now. Yeah. That shit's like, you know what I mean? But back in 2001, when the Phantom first came out, he was the first people on the thing. He was the first one to have a Phantom. You know what I'm saying? He had the blue one, and Mike Tyson was driving, and then you know they got another one, a black one. You know what I mean? He had, to, but he had to fly a spur before that. He had the uh, 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 a a a a a Bentley. You know, a, a, a Nodge, you had a bunch of joints back then. You yeah. know what I mean? So by being around that, that's one of the things. But just, he was a funny person too. You know what I mean? So he was real funny. You know, that's, you know, that's one of the things. A lot of yeah. shit. You know, now, I know, it. now just because most of the time people just want to talk about the street and the bad things, but I want to know because I was waiting for my son for 26 years. So it's a big ass gap in there. Yeah. Damn near three decades. You understand what I'm saying? So I just wanted to know, you know, when we was out here back then, we thought just giving the woman money was being a father. You know what I mean? Instead of spending time with the kid like now, how we do now. You understand what I'm saying? We just thought it was all about finances because it was so hard for them. Even when we could take care of them, we just kept doing what we didn't have to keep doing. And that's what I respect about, you know, your father, is that he walked away from the game when the game was popping. You know what I mean? For the crack era, I'll say he did like how Will Smith was at the top of his game with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And then he just shut it down and said, I'm going in the movies. Then he did the Man in Black and blew up or Wild Wild West and blew up and he just went right to the top of me. Right. You know what I mean? That's what her father did. You know, for the crack era. He gave up all the money, all the riches while it was coming in. Most people get out it's when they get bad. It's hard to do that. Ain't too many get out when it's good. That's how I want to in 26 years and there's so much more in the penitentiary that we're trying to get out. I did a lot of years in jail. So a lot of you people know? don't be, if you, the zip code ever, 
lot of don't know me because I was locked up through all of them years. See, I'm the, you know, I'm Eric, I'm Eric Jr. So, you know, we go back years. I was always with him back in the days and shit, but I did a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? So that's how a lot of some people like, oh, I ain't know that was his son, even though I'm a spit of image. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was in jail a lot, you know, a long time. So, not as long as you, but, you know, five and a half and then five and a half right after the Five and a half, five and a half. Mm -hmm. So that's a long span of time. Yeah. So that's that whole zip code and all that. I was locked up for all that. Now Jimmy's and all. I was in yeah. Jimmy's. Yeah. And all that when I was young, 15 and all that. I was in Jimmy's and all that. You talking about the one over on I was in Street? Jimmy's Harlem. Uptown. I was in Jimmy's. I was Jimmy's. locked up for it. That's why I'm asking. No, I'm, yeah. I was, they had to. With, yeah, with zip code, is, with you, zip code you, you're is giving out. me history now. With zip code was that now? Yeah. It used to be Jimmy's. It used to be Jimmy's. And before it was Jimmy's, it was called the Palace. You know what I'm saying? So I was in the palace when I was young. Well, I wasn't doing nothing back when it was called the palace. I was like eight, nine, 10, 11. But then when Jimmy's took it over, when I was 15, I was in there. Well, everybody, everybody know. I was the nigga getting everybody in, popping bottles. I was doing that when I was 15. Cheryl and all of that at the door. I was in there. But even in Jimmy's when the Bronx, you know, I was in Jimmy's in the Bronx. I was all them spots, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy's my man, but you know what I'm saying? That was in all of the spots. But then when Zip Cole got it, when he got it, that's when I went to jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you know, they had the Cherry Lounge. Yeah. You don't remember, they had the Cherry Lounge. You know, he was in jail. All them spots. You know what I mean? But that was that was my end. When, when Zip Cole came, I went to jail. When I came home, Zip Cole was over. He just schooled me on what I missed. That was three decades that he's giving me game on. That I ain't know nothing about none of that. I mean, it's crazy. But, you know, we're gonna sign out, man. It, it's beautiful. I want to sit down with you. I already talked to him. Come on, I got the dinner. Oh. Uh. Huh? Tess, move straight face. You remember? You remember? You remember? Rest in peace, Devon Zip. Yeah. Zip code 7 5 where the stars went. Back to back, his whips out front, black on black. Roses on the dashboard show stacks on stacks.